Hey guys, it's Joel here from MRAP as many reviews as possible. Uh, I just wanted to do a quick comparison video on the newly released Nano 4.0s um, versus the Nano 3.0s, Nano 2.0s, and the original Nano U form. Um, the two sizes on the right for the Nano 4s are the whites being uh, size 9 and the customs being size 9.5. Uh, my Nano 3s, if you read my reviews before, I sized them originally as size 9 and they ended up being a little bit too small. Um, so I had to go up to a size 9.5, which is actually a little bit loose. Uh, it fits and I can get away with it, but it's a little bit loose. Um, Nano 2.0 is probably my most favorite fitting nano previously um, I thought they just fit me the best uh, nines in those and nines for the U forms which fit me pretty well um, I would say they fit just about as good as the uh, nano 2.0s but with the new nano 4.0s um, testing both of them I find that there isn't that much of a difference between the or the nines and the nine and a halves. The nines definitely feel a little bit more fitted um, as far as the width of the shoe goes, but as far as the length of the shoe goes, I'm not really seeing too much of a difference there between the nine and the nine and a half. Uh, the nine and a half definitely feels a little bit more spacious compared to the nine. Uh, but other than that, it feels generally the same. Now comparing that to the 9.5 3.0, I would say the toe box area is a little bit more narrow in the Nano 4.0 than the Nano 3.0. A lot of people had complaints about the Nano 3.0 um, saying that it was a little bit too big of a shoe compared to their Nano 2.0s and they're probably right. Um, I observed that when I um, tried on a Nano 2.0 in 9.5 and, and then tried on my Nano 3.0s in 9.5. Uh, the Nano 3.0s were definitely a lot more spacious inside. Um, other than that, the way that they feel, um, I would say it's pretty, they're pretty much even as, as far as ground feel goes with the Nano 3.0s. Um, they feel generally the same from what I have experienced in my one day of using them. Um, but you know, that could change. They, the upper has changed a lot. There's a little bit more mesh on the upper compared to the Nano 3.0s. Um, so they might be a little bit more flexible. They might breathe a little bit better, but uh, I don't have enough time in them to warrant me saying anything there. Um, yeah, once again, that was just a quick uh, comparison video between all the different Nanos over the years. Um, stay tuned. There'll be a review, a full review shortly on AMRAP. And thanks for watching.